Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another reading. This time it's on Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. So apparently they have a new relationship that has set the internet ablaze. And so I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at it and see what I see, see what's going on with them and what the future will hold. So remember, these readings are all alleged for entertainment purpose only. And let's get started. I can't. I pulled the first pull three of cups. And that's like a gossip and jealousy card. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh in the beginning of the reading. I couldn't hold it just because it's a bit childish to pull a three of cups. How, ow, how old is she? This is my school shit. I'm sorry. I don't mean to roast her. I'm sure she's a lovely woman. And I'm sure he's a lovely man. I don't mean to roast. I just couldn't help myself seeing the Three of Cups. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so the Three of Cups is a, is a gossip card. So we're all gossiping about them. That makes sense to the Kardashians. But I also see this as a jealousy card. And the Knight of Wands is an indirect jealousy. The Queen of Cups is about her emotional pain. So she's definitely laying on thick to piss someone off. I mean, she can say that she's not, but it's literally right there. Um, so whatever. Um, the Ace of Swords are regrets. The Ten of Wands up right, which is a burden worth having, and the Nine of Swords overthinking. I think for her, there's a lot of regrets that she's had in her relationships and a lot of regrets that she's had in her life. And I think that she hasn't acknowledged a lot of that. And so it's coming out in childish ways until she acknowledges that pattern of behavior and sort of forgives herself um, for making mistakes um, and for allowing things to happen the way they happen. I think she's going to kind of be a little bit more childish because to me, this looks like a lot of childish energy just stemming from the fact that she's kind of running from acceptance of like mistakes or patterns of behavior that she's had in the past. Um, the death card is upright that the five of cups is reversed and the two of wands. Um, I mean, this is definitely a different type of relationship for her. I definitely think she hasn't really been with someone like this before. Um, but the Five of Cups being reversed and the Two of Wands tells me... <sighs> I'm going to be honest. I think this is the first time where she hasn't experienced the similar pattern of conflict that she's had in every relationship. So it's not that I think it's a bad relationship. I just think that she's enamored by it because for once it's not like fighting like cats and dogs or it's not like just sex based or it's not just like whatever. Like it's like kind of like simple in terms of the way they connect. It's not really complicated. And so I think that's why she's kind of obsessed with it is because it's like, for once, it's like not that hard. Um, and so I think she's kind of getting ahead of herself because of that. I will say that it does look like there's someone here because the Three of Cups has to be someone else. There's someone around them that is also interested in Travis. Um, the Ace of Cups is like a friend. The Seven of Swords is someone who's trying to fight for something and wants to be victorious. And the Temperance card is imbalance or impatience. So I see that as like a little bit of unfairness and equality or trust issues. It looks like, I can't tell if it's a newer friend or an older friend, but all I can tell you is that this person is definitely like flirty and definitely wants um, him. Need to be careful about someone's DMs here. Uh, someone has sus suspect DMs. There's a sus DM here. Six of Swords is the internet. The Eight of Swords is like, you got caught. And the Justice card, what's fair is fair. Uh, I think there's going to be a DM or a message or an email or something that's going to cause some problems between the two of them pretty soon here. Um, so there's that to look forward to. Uh-oh. Well, if they do not handle that conflict well, if they don't resolve the conflict well, they will separate very quickly. So um, how they handle the the social media DM or whatever this is, how they handle that is going to di dictate how long they last. Because the Two of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles, to me, is like... 
that's that's like rejection, healing of wounds, um, stuff like that. And like, you know, it's over. Two of Swords verse can't go back. And so for me, it's like a line drawn in the sand. So hopefully they handle that conflict pretty well and they remain together. Um, I think it's going to require both of them to kind of put the sword down because if they both come with fire and anger, it'll blow up. Um, if they come from a place of like, compassion understanding i think they'll be okay um it's just not looking so great right now so hopefully they can avoid this let's be optimistic about it um i think she likes the fact that she's not having to take care of him and he takes care of her but my problem with that is that ain't gonna last so the devil card is reversed the chariots reversed and the queen of pentacles I know they're in like a little bit of a honeymoon phase, but um, I don't see Travis consistently doing big gestures for her um, for much longer. I mean, just because it looks like it's one of those things where it's like in the beginning it burns really hot and then it kind of fizzles out a little bit more, which is kind of normal sometimes. I mean, I'm a little bit concerned about the love bomb here, but... It doesn't always mean that it's like a negative or toxic thing. It could just be, you know, an impulsive thing. So give the benefit of the doubt. Um, I just think there's something in his past. I don't know, dude. I don't know how to say this. I don't really know anything about Travis, but other than I loved Blink-182 as a kid. But the Nine of Wands is upright. The Nine of Pentacles is upright. And the Ace of Pentacles. I don't know, like. I think someone's going to try to sell a story about him that he's either dated like an ex or something or someone that knows him. I think that's going to start to happen. But to be honest with you, I think there's, he has a pattern of behavior in relationships that's going to get exposed and it's not good. It's a little bit toxic. I wouldn't be surprised if they end up trauma bonding because both of them have very similar trauma or something because it's like, there's something weird here. I don't know what the hell this is, but there's definitely something weird here. And I see Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, like I'm going to sell a story. And then Nine of Wands, like things getting worse before they get better. So there's definitely some pattern of behavior here. Why am I seeing a bunch of stuff with money? I don't know. Maybe someone got paid off, but I don't know. All I can tell you, allegedly for entertainment only, all I can tell you is um, with the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Cups reverse, and the King of Cups, to me, that looks like, does he have kids? I probably should have Googled if he had kids or not, but I don't know if he has kids, but the Six of Cups would be children or the past. Um, the Four of Pentacles is some sort of like dispute, selfishness. It's like, that's mine. And the King of Cups is like, that's him sort of being pushed away. So there's definitely some, I don't know if I would necessarily say that they're gung ho about this relationship, whoever he has kids with. If he does, if he doesn't ignore this part, cause I'm not really sure. Um, and I don't know if they're gung ho about this relationship. Now, I don't know if it's the kids that are not gung-ho about the relationship because if he does have kids, I don't know how old they are. Or if it's the mom that's not gung-ho about it, but there's some weird stuff going on. I don't know what the hell that is, to be honest. Oh, yeah, because it has to do with, like, the celebrity of it and, like, the uh, attention and everyone talking about it. The hangman not letting go, two of pentacles. Two of Pentacles is like unequal exchange. Did he have issues with like, was there some sort of dispute over alimony or child support or something at one point? Okay. Page of Cups, King of Wands, Three of Pentacles reversed. Huh. Okay, I'm just going to assume that he has kids because that's what it looks like. Did the mom move on? Page of Cups, Attachment, King of Wands, Reverse, and Three of Pentacles. Did the mom move on? Bad luck, bad opportunity, Three of Wands, Reversed, Judgment. Oh, okay. They are worried about what him being with a Kardashian will do to the family and 
the secrets that'll end up being exposed, the information that'll end up leaking, because there seems to have been some sort of dispute with who the mom moved on with and Travis at one point, or there's something weird there. I don't know exactly what that is, but they're worried about the Kardashian machine and the information that'll be poked at and talked about and stuff like that. I knew it. Ten of Cups is the family reversed. There's the Empress, has to do with the mom and what happened with her, and the Knight of Swords is like working through stuff. So they're worried about old stuff coming to light that they've worked through. Yep, self-sabotage. What are you doing? Why are you going near that? You know they're just going to start talking about it. That's the conversation. And the Four of Cups is like, they don't give a crap. They don't give a shit about anything. Like, they just want this to be entertaining. So there's definitely some frustration there. Does he want to get married again? Because... Um, the Hierophant being upright, the Sun being reversed, and the Six of Pentacles. So Hierophant is marriage, and the Sun is unhappiness, and the Six of Pentacles is no accountability. If he wants to get married again, I don't think it's something that he wants. I think it's something that he thinks he has to do, if that's the case. Um, and... I wouldn't be surprised if she mimics the same energy. I think they're both very similar. I think him and Courtney seem to be very similar in that aspect. Um, the Five of Swords upright, the King of Swords reverse, and Seven of Wands. I, yeah, if they were to ever get married again, I don't know. I just feel like it would have to be like a good opportunity. And it's like, yeah, I don't think it would definitely, I don't know. They both don't really seem gung ho about it. If they are, I don't know if I really believe that it's authentic. At least maybe they think that they want that, but they don't actually because it just doesn't read like that to me. Um, who's this King of Swords reversed? Who's the air sign? Five of Swords is a petty air sign who feels ostracized and pushed to the side and wants to prove themselves. Who is this? Lover's cards are versed and Queen of Swords. This person feels like Courtney's a bitch. Um, things change very quickly between the two of them. Is this her ex? Lover's cards are versed is a separation. So maybe it's like her ex. I don't really know everything about the Kardashians. So forgive me. You guys can help me in the comments. Oh, he's going to have a bruised ego. Um, he's been trying to avoid this, but the four of wands says, I don't know if someone's going to move in or if someone is going to, there's going to be a dispute over a home or he's going to like take someone, like maybe it's his, like his old belongings or there's something weird about his comfort and like his family or like his home environment that's going to feel invaded. And I see him throwing a giant bitch fit. In fact, I think he's going to start talking and I think he's going to have his own platform where he's going to start talking about the breakup and the heartbreak. Yep. Yep, it's going to be his own words, though, because I don't know if we've, I don't know, I don't know much about the Kardashians, but I'm pretty sure it's centered around the woman, right? This would be centered around him, Emperor. He's in control to, to tell his story. And the Ten of Pentacles says it's not for money. Um, it would be him being able to, like, speak his mind about the fallout, about the way he was treated, about how he wasn't allowed to express himself. He will feel like he was trapped and, and feel like the narrative wasn't fair. He is going to be so pissed. He's going to feel like she had power over him and she was controlling the narrative again. The Eight of Pentacles says he tried to put so much effort. Um, and the Queen of Wands being reversed tells me he's gonna, he's ready to talk about how mean she was, how like pushy she was. Now, I'm not sure if there was any altercations that were physical, um, but Queen of Wands, when she's mad, she is mad. Actually, didn't we see her in... Um, Kim get into a fight so I wouldn't be surprised if he starts talking about like perhaps maybe she's like confrontational and he doesn't really like that or aggressive or you know whatever I don't know but I definitely think he's gonna start telling his story um <laughs> I mean I don't know if people will care but it's there uh so that's kind of what I see for Courtney and um what's his name Travis and her ex I don't know his name. Uh, I feel like it's Scott, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, hope you guys liked that. If you did, make sure you follow. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications when I upload next. Um, if you really, really enjoyed that, you can tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch. I do these live on Twitch. Same name, uh, TikTok. Um, 
and Instagram Aphrodite. And until next time, bye guys.